Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install Composer on CentOS 9. First of all, before you download and install anything on your system, make sure always to update the local repository. Start with installing the supporting software. Type the following command in the terminal. The Composer comes with an installer that is developed in PHP. Run the following command to download the installer. Once you have the installer script, you'll need to verify its integrity. To authenticate this installer, download an SHA384. Then copy and store this hash as a set OS shell variable. Alternatively, you can do it automatically by executing the following command. Then, use the following script to compare the official hash against the one you've downloaded. The two signatures match and the output shows the message, Installer Verify. After verifying the integrity of the file you can move on to installing Composer. To install Composer, use the following command. Once the installation has been initialized, the following message will appear. When the installer completes the process, check whether it's running correctly. The system should display the running version, along with its syntax and available options. Now, let's see how to utilize Composer when starting a new PHP project. Open a terminal and create a project root directory for a file with the project description, its dependencies, and other additional information. Then, move it to the new directory. The next step is loading a package. In this example, we'll download and use the monologue package for our project. Along with downloading the software, your system will automatically create the composer.json file and the composer.lock file with a command. Now, check to see whether all the files were created by listing the content of the directory. Among the content, you should see the composer.json and composer.lock files, as well as a vendor directory. Next, open the composer.json file. If you need to update all the dependencies in your composer.json file you can do so with. This command updates dependencies according to the version specified in the file.